Hey guys, it's Connor from Calibre Studios here, and I am back at Great Adventure for the final weekend of El Toro and King Dakar's 2023 operation. It is Saturday of the weekend, so they don't close until tomorrow. I figure I come down here, get a few rides in on them, so we'll see you guys inside the park. Also, taking a look at all the Holiday in the Park updates, like the archway that has been added back. Holiday in the Park decorations have already gone up. They moved some stuff around. It looks really, really nice. So here at Main Street, they already have banners up for Main Street Christmas. They have the sign over here letting everyone know they are currently getting ready for Holiday in the Park. This is the only time I can think of where I've been able to ride El Toro and King Dakar with the park half decorated for Christmas. So it's a really cool site. Of course, excited to get my final rides in on those two attractions. But it looks like they have the tree up. Sylvester's out for some pictures. They have this tree over here now where the statue used to be. So lots of changes to look forward to at Holiday in the Park this year. Looks like they've done some changes over here for Funnel Cake Factory, specifically with the entrance and exit. Um, taking a look inside, it looks like they may have rerouted everything. You looks like you enter from this side now, as opposed to that side, which Brian had mentioned to us in passing that they wanted to make this a bit of a better experience getting in and out. And I think rerouting the queue setup like that definitely will help. Looks like Zumanjaro is currently stuck. Too bad I'm not up there. Something else new I've noticed around the park is that a 99 cent surcharge is being applied to all purchases due to increased labors and supply costs. So just keep that in mind. And of course, they are heavily promoting mobile food ordering. I believe I saw at one point there's a 10% discount if you mobile ordered, so definitely check that out on the app. Over here in what will be called Gingerbread Junction, we have Gingerbread Twist sign up. We have some lights that have been added to the carousel and the new location of Stewie the Snowman, which is now up here. So if you guys didn't see yet, I posted a video going over the new map for Holiday in the Park since there are a lot of changes this year. And Stewie is now over here. This selection of games will be open during Holiday in the Park. Daredevil Dive most likely will not, but the park will close off right at the end of this row of games. So just keep that in mind. I'm actually gonna make my way over to King Dakar right now because I just saw it running really slow over the top hat. And once it starts doing that, that means a rollback is probably imminent. So hopefully I'll be able to get my first rollback. We'll see though. And in case you couldn't tell, those riders are still stuck up there on Zumanjaro. So it's probably been about 10 minutes, but at least they're getting to see a great view because weather's beautiful today. Very clear. It's probably really cold up there because it is pretty windy, but there goes Kyle. Let's see, is he going to roll back? No, but it's going fairly slow. So hopefully we'll catch a rollback. I spy an extremely empty station over here for King Dakar. So hopefully we'll get a nice marathon in. Just did 12 rides in a row on King Dakar in a variety of different seats. We had the front row a couple times too. Did not get that rollback, unfortunately. I thought I'd be close, but no rollback. Uh, shout out to everyone who rode with me. There are a few fans of the channel, so shout out to you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed your rides. Um, I think we're going to be meeting up with Mr. Toro, Ryan, and I'm sure Ace is around somewhere too. So we'll see you guys whenever we find them. And I should mention I did all those rides in only 45 minutes. So shout out to the crew. You guys were absolutely killing it today with one train. Looks like they've already begun shutting down all the boardwalk games along this area that will not be open during Holiday in the Park. It seems like most of the restaurants are also closed. I'm hoping Garden State Grill is still open because I'm looking to go there to grab some lunch. But uh, yeah, almost everything is closed except for that one game over there. Luckily, Garden State Grill is open. Scratch that, they're closed. Looks like they're working on putting up the new Holiday in the Park map over here just across from Houdini. Just had some Johnny Rockets. We found Ace. How you doing? And we found Ryan, Mr. Toro. <laughs> so Ace, you've been here for a little while. How much stuff have you ridden? I've, I've gotten uh, 24 rides already uh, on Car, Toro, Nitro, and Double N, Zoo. Nice. And by the way, Zoo got stuck again. Obviously. Yeah, I saw it when the I was coming in. middle gondola. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking over here and I see some Holiday in the Park updates already. They have that photo up there and the coaster photo up over there. Those used to be on the boardwalk, but they've relocated them to this general area over here. So uh, yeah, like like I said, really nice to see all the Holiday in the Park updates. I'm also gonna go check out next to Joker. It looks like they're bringing back the Hayride from Boo Fest for Holiday in the Park. So definitely gonna go check and see what's going on over there. It's ice cream time, right Ace? Yes. Got my ice cream and so did Ace. Over here at the Arboretum, it looks like they've taken out a lot of the plants that aren't gonna make it through the winter. That also could mean that we could see some flash construction soon. Like I said, every time I'm here, I'm always looking out for it, but we haven't seen anything quite yet. Over here by Flash, it looks like there's an Enterprise rental truck back there. I don't think it's for Flash, it's probably for Holiday in the Park, but definitely gonna keep our eye on that. Next up is Justice League. 46,000 Ace, 121,000 for Ryan. 
and I didn't have that great of a game. 328. Blasters are just really stiff lately. It's been very difficult. Otherwise, though, guys, how was Justice League? Good. It was okay. It was okay. Yeah. You got. We got to teach you how to score a little better. Ace. <laughs> Struggle. I almost had a hundred thousand last week. I was improving. I don't know what happened. About a quarter of what I usually get. <laughs> but now I think where are we gonna go now, Ace? A child cop because Toro's down. So do you want to stop at Yum Yum so I can introduce you to this uh, great new drink? Sure, let's go to Yum Yum. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you guys once I get to Yum Yum. They have this new list of holiday flavors on the freestyle machines, and one of them is really, really good. This right here is the drink you gotta try. There it goes, looks like it's not closed after all. Running, not super slow, but slow enough to maybe get a roll back. While we wait for King Nika to reopen, we're gonna go ride Zumanjaro. Looks like Toro is also down over there, so hopefully it gets back open by the time we go over there, because still haven't ridden it today. Over here, there's even more progress on this lot here. I've heard a couple uh, thoughts about what this could be. Of course, it could be for the safari trucks to be stored. It could also be parking for Savannah Sunset for guests of that resort. It could also be maybe a new safari entrance, although I'm not too sure about that. Plan on making a video analyzing what this could be, because we don't know yet, and there's a lot of things it could mean. Just got off Subinjaro. It was really good. Uh, got a great view of Philadelphia. Yeah. Sun's kind of in our eyes because of stupid daylight savings time. It's only three o'clock, but it feels like it's like six o'clock. Ace, how's Zoo? Zoo was good. Unfortunately, we didn't get a, a duel. Did. No, we did not get a duel. Ryan, how was it? Um, good, except for we got safe. Ride was definitely fun. Uh, that could be one of my last rides on Zoom Jaro. Probably is, so we're for the season, of course. But I think now we're going to go over to King Dakar. So, ever since that last clip, we did a lot. First, we came over here to King Dakar, got two more rides on it. Then the station started getting a little packed. So we left, went to Toro, rode that 12 times. Then we came back to Cam, came back to Ka. Rode it two more times, so that puts me at 16 for the day on Ka, 12 for the day on Toro, and whatever else we rode. Zumajaro and Justice League, Ka and Toro were great. Uh, this is the latest I can remember riding them in the year. They're very rarely open this late in November, and it was really great to get some nighttime, almost nighttime rides on them. Ace, how was it? Great. For an extra week of uh, bonus days that we've never had before. This is the latest that the bonus days have gone into the season. This is usually out in the park territory. It's pretty cool. What'd you think? Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was good. It's cold, actually. Toro was running kind of slow, so I liked it because it was a little bit smoother than usual. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's cold. I'm starting to feel it now. That's why I got to call it quits. Um, but we had a great day. I wasn't here all day, but I got on a ton of rides for the amount of time I was here. I'm very happy with it. So uh, we're gonna be making our way out of the park now. So we'll see you guys a little closer to the exit. So I know I heavily emphasized Twister being removed over the off season, but from what I understand, that may no longer be happening. So uh, I'm very happy about that because I rode Twister a lot more this year than I have in years past. And it truly is one of my favorite flat rides of the park. So if it does wind up staying, very happy about that. It was so good. I give these people a lot of credit for doing Daredevil Dive with how cold it is right now. This is now the furthest on this side of the park I have walked all day. We've stayed over there by Contour all day other than Justice League, so uh, I guess we'll see if there's anything new. I already actually see some new stuff over there by where Blood Drones used to be that I'm going to go check out. And it looks like the Ferris wheel has gotten a fresh coat of paint. It looks very, very fresh, at least the triangular part of it with the supports very white so we're gonna definitely check it out when it's a little brighter out because i didn't get to see this yet but that looks awesome some holiday decorations over here outside mama flora's and the campfires are already out over here by the big wheel and over here next to the holiday craze mirror maze is a photo op and stocking stuffers with letters to santa which used to be the gift shop next to reflections it looks like a lot of the boardwalks decorations have been moved over there into the lakefront by bumper cars, which looks really good. And it looks like in here at Granny's, they have a nice big Christmas tree over here, which is really nice. So it looks like this whole plaza over here next to the bumper cars has definitely changed a lot. They have the s'more, the merrier, so I presume you'll be able to get s'mores here. And then you have these campfires over here you'll be able to use. Looks like they're testing out a new light show over here. They have all these different Christmas trees that look like they're programmed to probably go along with music. They're just doing some testing right now on it. And along the lakefront, like I said earlier, I saw a 
prop from where the it usually is in the boardwalk is now over here. So I imagine that we're going to see a lot of areas in Holiday in the Park look even better this year because the boardwalk is closed. So instead of all the decorations being more spread out, they're going to be much more concentrated. And just looking around at the trees, you can't see it on the video, but they're all wrapped and ready to go for Holiday in the Park. And over here, they're always all blue lights, which always looks so cool at night. That's going to conclude our day here at Great Adventure as we walk out through all the Christmas decorations. Had a great day. Like I said, my main goal today was to ride King of Ka and El Toro, and I certainly did that quite a few times. Ace, how was your day today at the park? It was a great day because I see the expectations. Absolutely. I ride everything, and I'm looking forward to Holiday in the Park. Yes. The food. <laughs> Holiday in the Park is always one of the best times of the year. And of course, it is bittersweet that two of the best coasters in the park aren't open for it, but it's fine because you get all the great decorations and you still have Nitro and Jersey Devil. But uh, a quick addendum here as we're walking out of the park. But this board here, I'm really curious to see if they wind up modifying it now with the merger, if they'll put Dorney Park on here, King's Dominion on here. There's a lot of other options too that are even closer than some of these. And Extreme or Ultimate Pass is not uh, uh, offered anymore. So I'm curious what they're gonna call the new tier that allows you to get all of the different um, parks. So that's gonna be something to keep an eye on. And as I'm sitting here editing this video, I just found out that I was two rides off from a rollback on King Ka. Right after Ace and I decided to stop riding Ka for the night, Literally two cycles after that, it rolled back. So I guess today just was not my lucky day, unfortunately. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos coming soon to Hollywood Studios. Goodbye, guys.